Another important concept in distillation columns is reflux. Reflux is the amount of distillate returned to the top of the column as a liquid. If there was no reflux, the top of the column would contain only vapor and multiple stages would not be possible. Reflux is required in order for the fractionation column to operate. How much of the distillate should we return to the column? The answer to this question lies in an economic analysis and will be different for each process. What happens if we increase the reflux? The extreme is called total reflux, or in other words, all of the distillate is returned to the column. This will cause the operating lines to move away from the equilibrium line as shown in figure 6, resulting in the minimum number of stages. Unfortunately, since there is no distillate stream, there is no product stream. Total reflux does not represent a practical operating point, but we have seen that increasing reflux reduces the number of stages. If we decrease the reflux, we remove more of the overhead stream as the distillate product and return less liquid to the column. The throughput of the column increases. However, reducing the reflux causes the operating lines to move towards the equilibrium line. The result is more stages are required to achieve the separation. More stages results in a taller column. This increases the capital cost. From this, we can see that setting the reflux is an economic trade-off between throughput and capital costs.